Hey guys, and RLV Zernizer are back in another video today. Today, I'll be getting to my round 17 NRL tip for 2020. Um, and it all kicks off between the Brisbane Broncos and the Penrith Panthers at uh, Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. Uh, the changes to the Broncos, so looking, it looks like that um, Joe Offhangawi, who's out with suspension, is out. And John Carr, who's also out. And replacing John Carr, who on the wing, it's Corey Oates because he returned some injury. And replacing Joe off Hangout off the bench, it looks like it's um, Ethan uh, Bullimore. Uh, for the for the Panthers, um, doesn't seem to be much changes, but the only changes are that um, Apicide Coruscant and reserves could be a late inclusion possibly for the Panthers. Uh, Villamai Kickout is uh, also back for the Panthers, so it's big right there. And uh, dropping out, and well, Isaiah Yo has, dro has dropped out because of. Uh, a serious concussion injury, so he won't be playing. But for this game, I'll be tipping the Panthers to win 36 points to 16 over Broncos. Friday night at footy, the first game out of two. It's between the Knights and the Sharks at McDonald Jones Stadium in Newcastle. Uh, the team for the Knights, so the in the ins are Brody Jones, Dryer Mamoy Sia, Phoenix Crossland, Tatiana Morgan, Tex Hoy. Um, they're all in, but the outs are Sami Sawalo. Um, yeah, so that's uh, from what looks like that's the team right there for the Knights. For the Sharks, uh, Chad Towns returns from injury and, and comes into his uh, number seven halfback role, replacing um, uh, Connor Tracy, and Connor Tracy will drop to the bench. And um, yeah, that's uh, Andrew Fafita isn't quite back yet, but he's in reserves though. But that's the team right there for the Sharks. But for this game, I'll be tipping the Knights to win 20 points to 18. I feel like they'll bounce back this week at home. Uh, now the second game of Friday night. It's between the Rabbitohs and the Storm at Angel Stadium. It should be a great game, this one. Uh, for the Rabbitohs, uh, Latrell Mitchell's obviously out with, for the year with a um, bad hamstring injury. So replacing Latrell Mitchell at fullback, it's Alex Johnston. And uh, Corey Allen will keep his place in the wing. And um, <clears throat> and that's the team right there for the Rabbitohs. Full of Storm, uh, Isaac Mimi Lou will play second in our all game after making his debut last week. Um, uh, since um, Kenny Bromwich is still out, and um, the replacement in the back row, who was Tino Famasama Louis, who shifts to lock this week, uh, Chris Lewis will start in the back row. And, um, yeah, Marion Mary Seve is out with an ACL injury for the whole year, and Solomon also out. And um, Kenny Bromwich could be a late, a late inclusion for, for the Storm. So that's the team right there for the Storm. But for this game, I'll be tipping the Storm to win 24 points to 12 over Rabbitohs. Now, Super Saturday all kicks off at Ains and Stadium again between the Bulldogs and the Titans. Uh, the team for the Bulldogs uh, looks like that's Sione Katoa from what I saw, Sione Katoa and who was the other guy, Dean Bridge, who it looks like they've been both dropped from the team. So replacing Sione, 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 sorry, Sione Katoa off the bench, it's uh, Jake Avrilo who returns to the Bulldogs and replacing Dean Britt off the bench, it looks like it's Luke Thompson who's back from uh, being rested for that Raiders clash. For the Titans, uh, the back line's the same as last week from what it looks like, and the Titans have no changes from what it looks like, so they're pretty much 1-17, to 17, except um, Anthony Donald could be a late inclusion on the wing for possibly, um, well, I don't know who, but Anthony Donald might be a late inclusion for Titans, so watch out for that. But for this game, I'll be tipping the Titans to win. I feel like they'll be a little bit, they'll be a little bit too good for the Bulldogs. Um... Yeah, so Titans to beat the Bulldogs, 26 points to 16. Now, the second game of Super Saturday, it's at Lotto Land. I'll, I should be going, I'll, I'll be going to this game, by the way. Um, it's between the Sea Eagles and the West Tigers at, Lotto, at Lotto Land. Uh, the, the team for Manly, so um, Alba Hoppawadi keeps his spot in the team after playing, after making his de debut last week. Uh, Abbas Miski re will replace Ruben Garrick on the wing. Um, Arthur Ruben Garrick suffered an AC joint injury in his shoulder. Um, Jack Kozeski replaces Joel Thompson in the back row. And um, that's the rest of the team right there. Uh, for the Tigers, uh, Mo Zemba will shift to fullback. Uh, Asu Kayapoa will go on the wing. Uh, Adam Dewey to the centres. 
Um, Benji Marshall, Luke Brooks, both swap positions from being one being a five eighth and then one being a half back, so they're back to normal. Um, and uh, looks like Sean Blaws out for the Tigers and Russell Packers in reserves, and so is Tommy Tleal. Could possibly play, never know, as late inclusions. And um, that's the team right there for the Tigers. Um, but the, for this game, I will be tipping Manly just. I feel like that they'll be hungry at home. I feel like that this is the week they'll bounce back. Um, I feel like they'll have a big game Manly. And I think they'll get the win just. So I think Manly will win 22 points to 18 over the Tigers. Uh, now, last game was Super Saturday. It's between the Raiders and the Roosters at GIO Stadium in Canberra. Uh, so the team for the Raiders, so uh, the outs, so there's no outs to the Raiders, uh, but Corey Harunaro is back for the uh, Raiders this week after missing the Bulldogs game last week. Um, and that's the team right there for the Raiders, what it looks like. For the Roosters, um, Sonny Bill Williams is back for the Roosters after his long um, awaited NRL return, after not playing in the NRL since 2014. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see SBW play. Um, but that's, um, the, yeah, that's the team right there for the Roosters. But, uh, Mitchell Orbison, Angus Crichton could be a late inclusion. They could play the in reserves. So extended bench, never know. They could be, could come in as a late inclusion. We'll see. Uh, Luke Keery is also in, and yeah, Luke Keery's back for the Roosters. So that's huge. Um, I'll, for this game, I'll be tipping the Roosters to win. 26 points to 20. I think Roosters will be a little bit too good in this grand final rematch, but I can see a bit of points being scored too. That's why I said the Roosters to win 26 to 20. I think it'll be, I think there'll be a few points. Now, Sunday footy at Central Coast Stadium. Uh, it's between the New Zealand Warriors and the, and the Parramatta Eels. Uh, the team for the Warriors, so obviously George Jennings and Daniel Alvaro can't play for this game, in this game because they're versing their current club, basically the Eels, but only on loan for the Warriors. But... Replacing George Jennings in the wing, it's Jared Beal. And uh, replacing Daniel Alvaro off the bench, it looks like it's Josh Curran. And um, that's the team right there for the Warriors. For the uh, Eels, uh, Dylan Brown's obviously out with a, uh, I think it was a, a pretty bad severe ankle injury. So replacing Dylan Brown in, in the number six role at 5'8", if it's Jay Field. Um, and... Uh, Looks like that's um, all the changes right there in the team for the Eels. For this game, I'll be tipping the Eels to win 14 points to 10. I think this will be a low-scoring game. It'll be a, a very gritty game. But I can see Warriors giving the Eels a bit of a challenge here. But I, I say the Eels will be a little bit too good and they'll bounce back. So Eels to win 14 points to 10. Now the last game of round 17 for the NRL. It's between the Cowboys and the Dragons at Queensland Country Bank Stadium in Townsville. Uh, the team for the Cowboys, so um, Easton Masters back for the Cowboys in the centres. Uh, and Jake Clifford will go to the halfback role. And Dejan Nassi will join the bench for the Cowboys, replacing, uh, pretty sure he's replacing uh, uh, Gavin Cooper off the bench. But Gavin Cooper will replace Cohen Hess in the back row, and Dejan Nassi will take Gavin Cooper's place off the bench. And that's the team right there for the Cowboys. For the Dragons, um... Paul Vaughan's out, so replacing Paul Vaughan, it's uh, Josh Kerr. But I believe Paul Vaughan was already out last week, so not, no, nothing really changed there. Um, and uh, that seems to be the chain, the team right there for the Dragons. For this game, this was pretty tough to pick, actually. This was pretty tough. But I think about Michael Morgan and Jason Tumbalolo for the Cowboys, they do lack a little bit... I guess, direction with Michael Morgan, a little bit of strength with Tamalolo. Um, I, I, can, I think Cowboys can win it, but I don't think they will. I think they'll just come short. So I think the Dragons will win this game 18 points to 12 over the Cowboys. But, guys, that's my round 17 NRL tips for 2020. Please let me know yours in the comments section down below. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And um, I'll see you in the next video. So see you then.